Hello everybody and welcome back. The end of last episode we found the blood spun webs temple area. Uh, we jumped down off this ledge up above us which we can't see. I can't look up that way. And there was a big fan so we took a leap of faith and here we are. Uh, I checked to see if there was anything in our inventory that we could use and the only thing that, that I've changed up on her I gave her these gloves. It says at the end of the wearer's turn they gain temporary wounds equal to the amount of collision damage inflicted by the wearer this turn. So I don't know how that's going to work out for her but we shall see. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, move forward. No idea <laughs> what this what's going to happen. Look down there. Athletics 55, oh gosh, yeah. Her athletics aren't that good. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Maybe talk to her. The undying one is death. The undying one is duty. Oh. Some goods. Take it, thank you. Alright, so that didn't really lead me anywhere. So we need to go back. Get a running leap. All right, we'll continue. I don't think I'm going to bother talking to these guys. They don't have names. Go down. Okay. Well, I can understand if the uh, leader of this temple is old, why he never comes out of here. Tangles of improvised bridges constructed from beams and flooring stretch ever higher, not unlike a web. The temple is growing as if it were a living organism. Go down. Oh, there's some goods down there. We'll have to get those. going on. Practice, maybe? I hope nobody attacks me. I don't think I have a chance against a bunch of assassins. 
Oh, look at this. Is that blood? Fourth spinner, fifth spinner, third spinner. There's the Vicer. Let's go talk to him. A frail old man, gray beard tinged with blood, folds his wrinkled hands in a ritual gesture. His body's covered in scars, some old, some fresh. His eyes are sewn tightly shut. His mouth is cleft at both corners, making his jaw seem eerily snake-like. And the Lady of the Ark walked the paths of unlife in the footsteps of the web's very first spinner. And the servants of death bowed before her, for the Domin is the giver of life. The old man goes still, his head turned to the side. He nods toward the temple's muffled silence. Yes, yes, the truth, like a stream, pours from your lips. We welcome her as the tenants demand. A thin blade appears in the old man's trembling hands. Although his arms are stiff, and look like they can barely bend. The next instant, the dynasty's symbol is etched on his forehead, dripping blood. With a brief motion, he flicks the blood off his blade and several drops land on your face. The blood-spun web welcomes its new lady. I am the Vasir. For many years we have waited, and now you are here. We have waited, whispers echo his words from the shadows. Oh gosh, uh, let's see. Oh, looky here, I just noticed who was here. How did they get here? I want to ask this, but I think that might be rude. Uh, I'm gonna. So, uh, you just walked my companions in here the normal way while I was forced to take that jump? <laughs> the spinners guided them along a different trail. You had to take the step. For only you were meant to become the flagship's blood, Domin. There was no reason to test the faith of those who follow you, for this burden was for their lady to bear. I see. Huh, what do you mean by you've waited many years? It was not long ago that I made my acquaintance with the cult. As I delve into my divinations from the flesh and blood of the departed ones, I turn to a relic most ancient and priceless. It is his tarot, inherited by the cult from the matriarch spider who spun the first thread. One of the readings I did back when I still had the strength to leave the temple. That was when, in the intricate tangle of destiny, I glimpsed our meeting. But when we would meet, alas, was not revealed to me. So we waited year after year, and now the hour has come. You sense a strange disturbance around the vizier. It is similar to the one that appears around Cabela, but stronger. He is not a psyker, or else he's such a powerful one that he can conceal it. However, his psychic potential is definitely higher than that of an average mortal. There are people like that in the Imperium, undiscovered by uh, hunters. They live out their lives as individuals with a reputation for having strange things happen to them. Perhaps this decrepit old man is indeed capable of gleaning something more from the Emperor's Terror than just P. 
painted pictures. Huh. Why is it you invited me here? Death whispered your name and commanded us to honor you with a sacred ritual. But only inside the temple can the spinners perform it. The vizier is suddenly distracted by someone invisible and nods toward empty space. Yes, we are glad she has reached this place. We are glad to serve. Oh, so he sees something we cannot. Is uh, Vizier some sort of title? It is the name we give to the first spinner, the one who has learnt the wisdom of the tenants of the web. I uh, may have a duty to instruct and spin bloody threads, but in all other ways I am as much his servant and yours as anyone else in this temple. How did you manage to erect an entire temple in the middle of the ship without anyone noticing? Followers of the cult once inhabited the tunnels between the bay's bulkheads until the threats of fate were tangled and a dominant of ages past gave us this compartment. We set ourselves to building spacious halls where the shadows, the images of him and the spinners themselves could whisper of death. And thus, the temple that you see began to change with the succession of viziers and the cult's generations. We are building it still, slowly but surely. Look at all that blood. That is crazy. Well, I have walked the path of the matriarch spider. What now? The song of trailing blood tells of a path fraught with trials. By accepting it and setting out on that path, you pass the first one, the trial of resolve. Not everyone's prepared to shun their fear and doubt and embark on a search for the unknown, a search for death. The trial of compassion was the second one. You pass that when you put yourself, albeit briefly, in the service of another soul, a man suffering from burns. Oh yes, I remember that. The choice between life and death is to be made only by those willing to take responsibility for the pain of another. The third was the trial of justice. In assuming the role of judge for an apostate of our faith, you declared your right to influence the balance of life and death that the errant soul had upset. And the fourth was the trial of duty, for duty always leads to death. We are prepared to render our duty to the undying one, fearless and accepting of our purpose, which is to serve him. You too have proven yourself prepared, and the four trials have brought you here. Yeah, it seems like overkill, really, and a waste of time. The path I have walked has helped me understand myself better. For the tenants teach us that the lesson learned is in itself the supreme reward for one who is open to self-discovery. Yes. The vizier's sewn shut eyes seem to peer into your face. He turns away and speaks to an empty space again. Peace, my brother. The time has almost come. Uh, who is it you talk to all the time? I have to ask. The vizier turns his head as if looking around the temple. I see echoes of those who came before us and those who were with us, but since have crossed over to the other side. My brothers and sisters raised by the cult. I hear them. They share their wisdom. 
I heed them. The other spinners they hear not, burden is mine to bear. I see that your eyes are sewn shut. Are you blind, or is that another of the cult's rituals? I was sighted for much of my life, until a disciple of mine violated the tenets, and I realized just how blind I had been. A lesson, but a bitter one. To look with one's eyes alone is to be easily fooled, but the heart cannot be lied to. Such is the truth, and such was my choice. I sealed my eyelids with the gaius of true sight. Now I see more and better. Interesting. So was this conversation another test? A smile graces the vizier's bluish lips. The tenants command us to be prepared for all trials, corporeal and spiritual alike. Are you prepared, Dominanya? I'm a little creeped out. <laughs> uh, his mouth closes, but you can still hear his whisper. A prickling sensation in your face is making you increasingly anxious. You raise your hand to your cheek, only to realize you can't feel it. You look at your palm and see a few smudged drops of blood from the vizier's blade. A strange, serene calm envelops your body. Your fatigue subsides and you seem to float in the air, seeing things you had not noticed before. The shadows in the corners taking on shape and color. The subdued lumen light playing on the cultist's bone masks. Are they really masks? Their tall, lean, empty wearers might as well be dead people. A chill runs down your spine. What is the meaning of this? Your heart is beating slowly. Your breathing has become deeper, and your thoughts are muddled. You seem to be under the influence of a potent stimulant. Look around the temple. One moment the walls of Death's Sanctum grow infinitely wide. The next, they're so narrow as to make it hard to breathe. The floor dances under your feet, and the undying Emperor statue seems to shake its head threateningly as it looks down upon you. You poisoned me somehow, did you not? The vizier nods meekly. My blood is infused with a concoction taken by those who follow the thread. It is sacred and harmless to us, but you it befogs and afflicts. And yet, Dominanya, you have grasped that the mind may fail the body and the senses. This was the final trial of spiritual acumen. You have passed it. What happens now? That is for you to tell me. You look at the vizier, and his trembling frame seems small and insignificant. A single step is all it would take to crush him. But the visions are starting to wear off, and now the old man towers over you. The keen gaze of his sealed eyes is studying your every movement, waiting for a response. I would like the antidote, but... Let me, let me do number two. Now you are going to initiate me as a servant of death. The Vizier ponders your words for a long time, whispers something to the empty space behind his shoulder, and then shakes his head. Our thread is repellent to you, Domin. You proved it by walking the matriarch's path in your own way. It is your right, and we respect your choice. However, only one who accepts the essence of death may become its servant. You accept your own essence, and we dare not burden you with our dogma. I see. For years we have maintained fealty to the Dominee. 
We have collected sacred symbols and relics. You are the first in three generations of lords and ladies to descend to this sanctum. We are grateful. We are uplifted in spirit. Hear our exaltation and accept this gift, sewn from the bones of his faithful with the threads of death. That which was foretold has come to pass. The ritual of descent is complete. Okay, not quite sure. He rejected my becoming a member, I'm guessing? Let me check and see what he gave us. Well, it's definitely an upgrade. Let's put it on. Oh, it's not as colorful as I thought it would be. All right, we need to give Cabela these items that will help her. There was three of them, I thought. Well, this can be for anybody, but we will give it to her. I think that's all we had. Uh, let's read this. The smoke tickles your nostrils, making you slightly dizzy. Such substances are known to induce visions or hallucinations. Oh, okay. Well, I don't want to get near that. So is that all we have to do here? Daman Anya has honored us. We are glad. First spinner. Peace, Kabbalah. You are the shield. You are the shadow. You are the blade. So be them. I will take my leave now. We will meet again, Daman when the threads of fate leave a bloody pattern. All right, so how do we make our way out of here? Uh, there's loot over there, we gotta get that. Perhaps this was the way out? No. Okay, let's find the door. These are people I think that fell through the fan. Okay, there's no door there. Oh, here we go. A spinner, his face covered in carved bleeding glyphs, makes a respectful gesture of invitation. Let me show you the way, Dolman. Oh, yes, thank you. All right, I think we're gonna go to the bridge. They're ready for orders. All right, well, now that that's been dealt with, let's check our uh, current system. See what needs to be done here. Hundred Dreams Crossroads. Oh, we have a lot going on. And this looks nasty. Alright, there's something that I want to do real quick. 
we picked up some things but we have a faction that we can trade with that will give me ship parts I believe I want to double check see if we can get something to upgrade before we do anything in that system All right, let's check with Factotum real quick. Oh, uh, let's see. The Imperial Navy. That is the one I was thinking of. Okay, let's go to Reputation. Let's uh, hide untradeable. So we got nothing? Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. Well, we do have these, which I believe we've already determined are not upgrades. That's the same lance weapon we have. Let's go. All right, everybody. Well, this looks interesting. We're not going to get in a fight today, but let's go ahead and at least scan these three planets. And then next episode, we'll take that on. Logston. I don't even know what that is. But I guess we'll try to extract it because we keep running into it. It's got to be valuable somewhere. Okay. Nothing. But we got XP, we'll take it. Ooh, look at this. That looks promising. Prometheum. Alright, we'll put one of these there. Seems to always be a need for that. Alright, I don't want to go any closer over to here. And we're going to check our ship. We are fully repaired. We cannot upgrade at this time. As far as these go. And we do not have anything we can do there. Check our posts. I'm guessing we're as good as we're going to be on that. Alright everybody, thank you for joining me today. Next time we're going to engage over here. Please give a like and subscribe. Hope to see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.